Hey, 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 all you rock stars. What's going on out here on this fine, sunny, beautiful day? It's about 85 degrees where I am in this part of North Texas, and that's Misha's heat point. So we decided to get out here and hit it pretty quickly before this temperature rises. It's supposed to be uh, at the century mark today, and it's supposed to be at the century mark or above until probably next weekend or so. I mean, these are our dog days of summer. Some people's summers don't start until in June or August, end of July, August, but our summer, our, our century mark heat normally starts like uh, anywhere between the middle and the end of June. And so we're in our dog days now and it's quite hot, but I hope y'all are doing really, really well. I hope the weather is decent where you are not nearly as hot. Uh, but on my heart and on my mind today was some of the things that have went on with this week. This has been a challenging week uh, for me. We, uh, my husband and I were in a meeting and I think I might have told y'all about it before and I was asking for prayer that the meeting would go well and that we would be shown uncommon favor. Well, the meeting was yesterday and it was, I don't remember, you know, I'm not the type of person that's just really panicky and nervous but I feel like I was gonna hyperventilate yesterday. I was so nervous. And it was because I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, we talked to the people who officiated it and all of that stuff. So we had some idea, but just the, the unknown freaked me out. Well, praise God, it pretty much went as we prayed for and so we have a praise report on that. All will be well after a while, you know, here and there gradually. Things are going to begin to change for us in a real positive way. And I think part of it too is because um, I can't quite see the ways now things are going to change, but they are, and it's really gonna be for the better. We're gonna be we're gonna be better all the way around for it. So this morning I'm just thanking and I'm praising God even for what I can't see. I'm just praising him because I know that even though things look the same, things are about to change for us and in great, great ways. So I was just thinking about how it is sometimes when we can't see the blessings of God, how we discount them, or our hands and our hearts are not open to receive them because we don't understand the blessing or we don't readily see the blessing and we almost kind of wave it away. Um, hold on a second, y'all. Mr. Misha is doing what he does. And uh, hold on. Make sure you have me doing acrobatics this morning. Okay. Okay. Come on. So, when you don't see the blessing and you don't understand it for the blessing that it is and your hands are not open to it, you uh, hinder what God has. You hinder what God is going to do through the release of that blessing. And you jeopardize what it could do, not only for you, but for the other people that God is trying to bless through your blessing. Because anything that God blesses you with is, is rarely, just for you if ever just for you it's always for you and somebody else somebody else is always blessed by 
what God blesses you with, if you think about it. Uh, also, too, when you are, when the Lord, and say it, and the flip side could be the same. The flip side of that, I wonder what's going on. I'm pray for this, the whoever is in need of this ambulance and this fire truck. Uh, that all is well with them and that they would get the necessary help that they need in the name of Jesus. But anyway, that's so old school. I don't know if y'all do that when y'all hear ambulances and fire trucks. Y'all start praying for people, but I do. But anyway, <laughs> get back on the subject. Um, the flip side of that can occur too. When you, when the Lord is blessing you and you see the blessing, and you understand the blessing for what it is. You know, when the Lord is trying to upgrade your situation and trying to uh, give you a clean slate and start you over and it's obvious and you see it and you go, well, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with my old situation. I like my old situation. I'm comfortable in my old situation. I mean, I like a shine and do situation and I see what the Lord is trying to do. But what is that going to require of me? Am I going to be as comfortable in a new situation as I am in the old situation? I don't know. I, I think I keep the old situation. I keep the old broke down situation because I mean, at least I know what to expect there. What? If the Lord is trying to improve you, there's a fear of the unknown with that. Just like the fear of the unknown that I let overtake me yesterday. There's a fear of the unknown when the Lord is trying to upgrade your things. And he just did. But you breathe and you open your hands and you say, Lord, your will be done. Forget my emotions because you see the whole picture. You don't just see me breathing hard and panicking. You see what your blessing is about to do for me. So, Lord, I received the new out with the old in with the new all of it I receive all of it because I know just like in the old situation in the new situation you're still God and you're going to be God and you're going to be with me no matter what but you're trying to upgrade my situation you're trying to start me over with something brand new Bump the fear of the unknown. Bump my comfort. Let me be comfortable with brand spanking new. Because you are a progressive God. You are a God that moves on. You move ahead. You move forward. You are a God of the new. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. See it spring forth from the earth. Have you not seen it? Have you not known it? I do a new thing. A new thing. Think about that. Is the Lord trying to bless you? Is he trying to bless you with something new? And you're so comfortable with the old? You have closed your hands to the new? Because you want to keep the old? Are you going to hinder what God is trying to do by not receiving the new blessing? Or is it that you don't see it as a blessing yet? I hope neither of those are true for any of you rock stars today. I hope you can discern when God is trying to bless you. And I hope you can, uh, I hope you seek the Holy Spirit and pray for the courage to be blessed because when you are blessed you are blessed by God to be a blessing somebody else is depending 
on your reception and your positioning yourself to receive and walk in the blessing. No need to ask the Lord for uncommon favor and then have him favor you and you reject it. Don't waste his time and don't waste your own. Oh, but the Lord is trying to bless you. I just, I, I, I feel it today. I feel it. I feel it today. The Lord is trying to bless you. You either can't see how he's trying to bless you or you can see it. But you feel like you're going to have to jump through hoops that you didn't have to with the old blessing. And you have settled into the old blessing and you don't want to give it up. Even though you see the old blessing is failing, has failed, and it is becoming more and more obsolete. You want to keep it. You want to keep it like an old cell phone. When upgrades are available and have been available for years, beloved, do like me. Let your hands shake, uh, steady your breath and your focus. Breathe, relax, and get all the upgrades that God has. All of them. Get them, because other people are dependent on it, not just you. You're blessed to bless other people. When you close your hands to all of the blessings of God, you close your hands to the blessing that he wants you to be to other people. And I don't know, even the selfish, per even the most selfish people I know at times want to bless somebody else. It's innate. It's something that God puts in you to do. I don't care who you are. Don't close your hands to any blessings God has for you. Don't leave any blessings that he has for you on the table, ever. Because what God gives is good. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and addeth no sorrow. And that's the kind of rich you want to be. You want to you wanna be rich in God's blessings. It, it, it's far better than money and longer lasting. The blessings of God follow you into eternity. Don't refuse him when he's trying to bless you. Seek wisdom in, on what the blessing of God looks like. And always have your hands and your heart open to it. Y'all have a fantastic weekend.